cool. It it doesn't really uh, show anything. It's me um, basically micromanaging my troops and and micromanaging my my, uh, my stuff. Okay, flying university. As she makes her way through the city, dodging shadows as if they were Celtic soldiers, the illuminated clock tower of the church seems to have glared at her like a mean, infected yellow eye. She's already late, but class is still in session. An underground university is formed at Ostrakhan, providing higher education despite the ban on my Nord language and, and, and academia. We could say horrid, absolutely horrid. We have a flying university until 1843, where they get plus 2% research points, basically balancing out what to happen. Um, and they get plus two percent militancy. No, this is this is a monthly modifier, um, or whatever daily. I don't know. Uh, for militancy and consciousness of point two percent. This is not a flat modifier like this is. Um, when it says gain, I'm gonna and um, basically yeah, uh, and this is actually lasting longer than the original thing. Um. Or we can spare no effort in shutting it down, pay 50 pounds, which is not bad. Not a big a deal when we have 842,000 80, pounds. <clears throat> we gain, gain two militants to gain one consciousness. Uh, now, in the end, this will probably gain net less consciousness and uh, probably less militancy. But uh, I like the research points here, so we're going to let that happen. Oh, and the Turkish Caliphate is crushing Tibet. Tibet doesn't have a very good manpower, being covered in mountains. <laughs> I thought about making a another national uh, national ideal uh, religion for those um, those places that were in Calicut. broken up in little things is because number one I like having places and guys in different areas. Number two, because I will run out of uh the hell um See why I cut this out. It's not really necessary to show. But yeah. Okay. Idealism. So that'll be finished in July. Hmm. 
steel factories. Um, yeah. Let's just enforce the curricula, which gives us more uh, more research points. That's another reason to do that, because you'll get, you'll get those events sometimes. The demand for steel and gunpowder is probably based on uh, me not building a shit ton of troops. But as you can see, it goes up and down. Um, which is one of the reasons I just kind of normally just leave it uh, the way it is. But once I have an, some more national focuses, I'll, I'll, I'll um, put some focuses for workers. Lower poor taxes a bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so Turkish Caliphate has acquired a state from Tibet. This big chunk here. Or trade menu. Um, and I haven't been, I've been kind of neglecting my navy a bit. Um, and one of the reasons I have been is that uh, I haven't been uh, automating buying this. And as you can see here, there's not enough, whoa, not enough uh, clipper convoys to go around, so uh, it's not like a, it's, I'm actually going to get any. Okay. Let's go to Florence Nightingale. Um, so basically, yeah, um, I'm going to stop reading these, but I'm going to leave them up so that people can read them. Military hospitals, 2%. Uh, war exhaustion, uh, minus 2%, which is really, really good. And some prestige. So we've got realism. Or idealism, excuse me. So, um... Early Railroad would probably be really good. We're gonna go with Ideological Thought, which will give us some... good stuff. Mostly this. This is mostly what I care about. But some stuff that raises my plurality. Um... Are there any wars going on? Just... Okay, so they're winning pretty bad. Hello, the knights. We have like 12 units. Transport fleet over here somewhere. I actually don't 
actually do not. Okay. Well, I probably should have one. Is this transport here? Probably turn on my buying of clipper convoys. That uh, raises their demand, which is actually making me a little bit of money. See my national stockpile prices has gone way up. They lack their inferior diplomatic skills. And there's really nothing I can do about that. That's just gonna be a runaway cost thing. I'm gonna let it run for a while though. Um, just to recoup some of my um, damage basically. To my ships. That's uh, quite a hefty cost, and I want to have enough money show it in red. Um, I, uh, consciousness is pretty much a good thing. Uh, so, whatever. Okay, so. The Papal States have gotten uh, stuff from Morocco. On the 28th of June, 1938, as you can see, this is <laughs> not exactly uh, the right date. Princess Alexandria Victor Alex Alexandrina Victoria of House Hanover ascended to the throne of the Celtic Union as Queen Victoria. A reign which lasted a few years into the 20th century. So basically, the the current dynasty uh, ends there, I guess. I, I in one of the localizations, I actually changed this, but I decided it didn't matter that much. Although it it does matter, uh, I guess. But uh, that was just a mistake on my part, I, I suppose. Uh, but now it's officially in the game. Um. Her reign, which lasted even a few years into the 20th century, will be remembered as the absolute zenith of the Celtic Union, upon which the sun never set. Her ascension also marked the end of the control of the knightly remnants of the knightly crusading order, staying in first speech of the Crusades were over. This is something I added. Uh, today, the jubilant crown of London in London has escorted the young Queen Victoria to residence in the newly built Buckingham Palace, which is in England. So, another localization mistake on my part. Um, this does end our. They are no longer our satellite, so um, I decided since uh, Queen Victoria had a thing where they release uh, Hanover uh, that I would do that. <clears throat> um, yep, and now they're going. Oh no! Now they don't protect us anymore. Oh no, Cockburn. Are 
leader is doing. We've got a few. Could probably use some more. I need to focus on officers or something. Proto existentialism. Some more prestige. to expand into. Um, next we'll probably expand a bit more into India, maybe get uh, this part of Bengal, or take out a couple of these guys, but we gotta wait until our infamy goes down. What I would like to do is wait until we get events that will let us uh, attack people. <coughs> that way we have a less of a problem. I'm not going to write events that give us that give us scores and stuff. That would be silly. Ooh, something that great increases our pop growth. That's really good. Um, so, what did they get out of this? Marrakesh, I guess. enough, Scandinavia has been a bit passive. Um, I figured they would start crushifying everyone again, but I guess not. Um, Scandinavia does have the problem of having limited manpower in uh, Victoria 2. Uh, even more so compared to other games. I'm still arguing over Man Mongolia. Mexico and Colombia, which is the last thing they need to form the United States. Now, the reason why I, I kind of want to accelerate this process is because nobody can colonize these things until they do that, and you can just consider them extended Indian territory or something at this point, uh, as uh, Oklahoma initially was, um, and this to be unpopulated land, obviously. Uh, but, uh, until the United States is formed or Texas becomes a secondary power, which it doesn't look like they will do. Um, yeah, see, this, even if I made the scores, the, uh, the prestige scores the same, there's just really no comparison in the others. Like, look at this, zero and two. And this says 13. But, I mean, 34 and 62. There's really no comparison, and it's going to be like that, whatever I do, unless I actually modify the pops themselves. This is the most military power map, with 10, uh, of the northern stuff. And see, this is zero military power, that's complete garbage, and <laughs> look, we get some indus industrial power, very cool. Um, and then obviously Mexico is a little bit better than that. But uh, yeah, it's... Somebody asked why they were the only great power. That is the reason, because even if I made all of their all of their prestige scores the same, which didn't make any sense, because I, these, this is basically the United States, um, which starts with a higher prestige score. Um, it doesn't, it will not make a difference. The United States will always come out ahead in industry scores. Plus, if I didn't make them a, a power by giving them that much prestige, none of them would. So, um, because the inflated prestige values of uh, Victoria or um, the pop mod. Yeah. But as you can see, uh, prestige is meaning less and less as the game goes on. Um, New England will probably pass Scandinavia. Um, 
once they get their military power up, and they definitely will once they um, they form the United States. <clears throat> uh, but right right now, what's limiting them is military strength. And they have sixty, you know, fifty six. But uh, as is the case in all games, um, this is not. Ooh, Neptune discovered Hesedom. Hes Dharma. Darmstadt. Blur. That's cool. Horrid, absolutely horrid. Okay, this is the same thing. And her rare. Okay. Get more. Mental juices. Okay, um. Nothing's really going on down here. What's this? Quality. Okay. Portugal. How is Portugal doing? Uh, they're not really doing anything. Get some industrial power though. But, uh, and Lucy does. All of the tea in the Celtic Union. Tea harvest is unusually large this year. Nowhere is it larger than Chitulgan. Chitulgrug. Everywhere one ventures into the area, sacks and sacks again lines stand lined up, brimming with freshly picked leaves of wonderful smelling tea. I can't talk today. This harvest will probably set us straight for years if we're capable of leveraging it right. Should we let the farmers keep an extra portion of the harvest? Let our merchant sell it for profit, or she stockpile it for later use. We stockpile it, we gain 20 tea. If we let the farmers keep some, they lose one militancy and one consciousness. Or we can uh, say our merchants need the tea, and all capitalists in Chitteldrug uh, pay 3,000 pounds. Uh, money is not an issue right now, unless I was turning on my buying of boats. Um, eventually, I, when I convert to steamers, uh, that will be better, because I'm actually still paying for steamers, I think. Um, I don't want any militancy. Stockpile the extra tea. Um, and I'm deliberately trying to keep my militancy low and my consciousness high. Um, okay, is my navy here? It is, okay. Everybody go down to Southampton. Two engineers in that switch. Okay, where else do I have armies that need moved? Ah, oh, so infantry. Okay. Madagascar. Madagascar's got a lot of guys in it. Uh, got a big population. Did it again. Donk. And impressed. Okay. So they will pick them up from Khan. There. Okay. So... Right, okay. As you can see, the game's not going a whole lot faster than it would if I were Cutting. It's just a little less, less, less dead air, I suppose. Um, so they're not alive with the Fable States. That's cool. Get on the boats. I should put a big ass army on the Channel Islands for no reason. Actually, that probably wouldn't work. <laughs> There's 
So one of the things I can do is just reduce my number of frigates again. Um, and then start converting the rest of my navy to steamers. Once I get the techs anyway. I'm, I'm not really good on the techs yet. Um, after I finish this, I'll pretty much be done with, with culture techs for a little while. Getting the provinces are smaller. Um, Odina is modelizing. What are they doing? They're fighting Venice for Sardinia Piedmont for Venice. Okay. I don't think they're gonna win. <laughs> this Rome does something. Yeah, I don't know why Rome hasn't killed these guys. Usually they do. Okay. Uh, everyone loves us. Old man in the sea, a fisherman off the Prince Edward Island coast, has brought an enormous catch today. His trawler's practically with I think I read, read this one already. Yeah. Although it probably didn't have any militancy. Whatever. As you can see, my population is rising. That's good. Oh. We got a school strike. It holds his hand drawn back at a low angle, as if genuinely surprised at the strength of the blow it just delivered. Suspense is gone now, and he isn't angry anymore, only terrified. Gritting her teeth, she says in the strict, stuttering tone of pain in a foreign tongue. There's a special place in hell for you, Kel for Celtic swine like you. The, those might be the only words in our language she'll ever learn. The next day, an incident known as the Axum Squad. Axum school strike of 1842 is in full swing as parents refuse to let their children set foot in the draconic system that is a Celtic school. We can reform the curricula. I say verb form, sweeties. They are the key to success. And all poor strata gain militancy. Raw. Let's see, it actually shows up on our thing. Um, I got another one. Uh, this is just officers. I don't want to kill any of them. It's fine. But discriminatory, discriminatory schools is actually really... I mean, there's obviously bad sides to it, but uh, it, it, usually, it ends up usually being better in the end, for me, at least. And sometimes you just want a bit of rebellion. So, yeah. is one of the most prestigious great powers on Earth. From Cairo to far-flung provinces beyond, uh, our flag flutters proudly in the winds, striking fear into the hearts of anyone who dare oppose us. A celebration of our dominance and just reign, an imperial parade is planned in Cairo. The question now poses itself. Should we invite foreign dignitaries to this joyous occasion, or should, shall we simply conclude that no other nation is fit to bask in our place in the sun? Well, we got bros around the world. Lucia, who apparently we don't hate anymore. The Popal States, uh, Rome, obviously. Um, and uh, Super Sweden. So, uh, all of us see our splendor, uh, which basically gets 26.25 prestige. All pops in Cairo lose one militancy and lose one in consciousness. Or we can say our isolation is splendid. Bohemia, Moravia, the Roman Empire, Sardinia, Piedmont, Ro the Russian Empire, Scandinavia, New England, and the Turkish Caliphate each lose one prestige. And all pops in Cairo lose one militancy. Okay, the only thing that's really bad about this is losing the consciousness. But uh, let's gain lots of prestige. Blah. Um, let's see. It doesn't give us like a, a bonus to them. I guess because we're bragging too. 